So here we will be uh, writing a program to, uh, to calculate the monthly mortgage uh, payments. And uh, this is the formula we have. Uh, this is something the bank people have come up. Uh, it's a loan amount in dollars. And the MI is the monthly interest. If the user enters, say for example, 3.5 as the annual interest, uh, we will be calculating MI as monthly interest, which is 3.5 percent. This is percent, so divided by 100, divided by 12. Okay, that's the monthly interest. Okay, and uh, this is the actual formula. If you see, it's kind of confusing, right? So I've, I've made it a little simpler. If you see the common terms here, one plus monthly interest, one plus monthly interest to the power n. So we're going to calculate that first and store it in a temporary variable. See here. So we are going to use a power function in C language. And so one plus monthly interest where this is what we are calculating to the N. N is the number of monthly payments. Um, how many, um, if your loan mortgage is 30 years times 12 is your number of payments. And uh, so the, the monthly mortgage amount is loan times monthly interest times temp which we are calculating over temp minus one you see that that yeah so let's write the program okay so here i started off uh, exactly what we have we're going to ask the user loan amount monthly payments and the interest right so month, I'll just make it as N, okay? Just to the way we, we've been using it. So this is month here, month. So number of A, okay? And the rest of the stuff is good. So we need to calculate um, monthly payment, monthly mortgage. Let's go monthly payment itself. So this monthly payment and uh, so it's a loan times monthly uh, interest times uh, temp we have calculated temp here now um, right so we said we'll use the power function pow uh, temp to the power n divided by right power temp yeah power n minus one i'm going to put uh, just there's no confusion right so we'll just put the numerator all in one parenthesis and all the denominator in one parenthesis right um, so I'll just put this guy okay so this formula is same as let's go back and check it out okay so what I wrote is um, the temp is 1 plus mi to the power n right so that's what we have temp is 1 plus mi um, we had used the power so we didn't do that right so let's go here that's not the way we did okay. power uh, 1 plus to the power n so here we don't have to do anything here No more, no more. So it's all done in one place. You see that? Now let's go back here. 
So temp is power 1 plus mi to the power n. So that's what temp we have. Temp is power 1 plus mi to the n. This is the power uh, function and temp is that. So we need to calculate print monthly mortgage equal to, we we'll just put two decimals monthly payment. So everything else is good. So what we are going to do is, we are going to try for um, a, a simple amount and we will take it from there, okay? So here, uh, uh, so this is what we did. what we did sorry this is what we have so gcc loan dot c oops minus lm math library so get that out loan amount right so hundred thousand let's put hundred thousand and number of payments say 30 years Interest rate is nowadays is 3.0 is the interest rate, so right, so 3.00. So monthly mortgage is 421 dollars for 30 years, 3% interest rate for 100,000 uh, dollar principal, right? So we need to verify this. So let me go ahead, pause the video. So here I have uh, uh, I gone to a public website. I put hundred thousand dollars, thirty year, which is three sixty months. Interest rate three point zero. It gave me four twenty one dollars and sixty cents, which is what we did. Right. So if you put let's say two hundred thousand dollars, I'll say. $180,000 and same thing for 360 that is three years 750 so what $180,000 is 758 right let's go and check it out everything remains the same $180 758.89 which is exact, precisely what we have, 758.88. We have one cent less. That's okay, right? So that is how mortgage payments are calculated in real life. And uh, if you go and purchase a car loan or housing loan, and if they come up with a different number, you can always use your program to cross-check and to see how this is all done. Okay, so it's a very simple program. All you got to remember is this, um, this uh, loan amount that we taught, the formula that we, we have used, right? Uh, from this complicated formula, we went and we simplified it and we have used the same, right? And uh, so that is the uh, simple mortgage application we wrote. We use the we use the math, the math function P O W, which is the power. Calculus. Let's say if you want to calculate two power three, you would use power two comma three. So in this case. Right, we used power function. That's all we have. And we, when you compile, you have to compile with minus lm. See this minus math library. And you have to include the math library too here. See that math library. 
header, math header, and in while compilation, got to do minus L. So those two things also you need to do. Okay. Thank you.